Hello, I am Joseph Iglesias. And I am Helen Almond. And we have the Stonebreakers, which were which was made by Gustav Corvette in 1849 and was destroyed in 1945 during the bombing of Dresden, which was during World War II. The painting is focused on two figures, so the background is not very important. The colors are very dull, and that helps reflect the dull life of a peasant, which is what this what is being depicted in this painting. This is a very large painting. Although at the time, this wasn't normal. If paintings were to be made big, they would be reserved for those that were important historical paintings. The main point that is that this painting was trying to convey was the life of poverty and the struggle of the people in the working class. During 1850 in Europe, an information like this had never been portrayed in art before. In the end, this wasn't made to be art, but to be an account of something that was happening in France at the time. The people in this painting were actual people that the artist met and decided to paint. The people in the painting are breaking down stones into rubble, which would be used as pavement. One person is carrying a basket of rocks, and he is a young man, which is the one on the left. And the one on the right is an older man that is pounding them into rubble. This was a reaction to the labor unrest that was happening in 1848 because better working conditions were needed for people. This painting in the end showed that these people are poor now and they will be poor for the rest of their lives.